Hello guys, it's time for another Kerbal Space Program YouTube video and today I'm looking at planes. Yeah, as most of you will know, the physics engine is not really designed for planes, so <laughs> uh, this is a first attempt to get a plane that lifts me up to 15 kilometers and then we will detach this little rocket with three main fuel tanks an advanced SAS and yeah vectoring rocket it will hopefully get us into a nice 100 kilometer orbit with a little bit of spare fuel to do some maneuvering or something like that okay yes yeah, you see we have six air breathing engines and landing gear and at 15 kilometers I will detach this rocket and try to make my way up into orbit. Let's see if it works. Let's go to the launch pad, yeah, to the <laughs> runway. As I said, this is my first attempt and yeah, I'm not really good in building these things. But hey, let's just try it. Okay, we are at the runway. Stabilizer on, and yeah, let's just fire up the engines. Some corrections here. I tried it before and it worked pretty good, but uh, yeah, the thrust is barely enough to lift it up at the end of the runway. Made it here. Yeah. Okay, uh, we will uh, just try to uh, fly away with an angle of about 30 degrees. Retract the landing gear. And I found this thing is pretty stable, so I like it somehow. Thirty degrees, and now yeah, we're just flying straight up, and I will time accelerate here because yeah, we don't. <laughs> it's wobbling as hell, but yeah, we don't really need to wait all the time. But as you see, we are still at a perfect course, straight from the one way. And to be honest, I think this thing looks good too. A little many engines for such a small plane but these uh, wings don't really give uh, a lift uh, with the current physics engine so you need many engines and or payload is not so li light it's uh, yeah it's pretty heavy for such a small aircraft Okay, 11 kilometers. Now let's just back to normal time. And yeah, as you see, our efficiency is going down as the air gets thinner. And yeah, when we start to lose speed, we will just detach. And it should be around 15 kilometers, should be a good number. Okay, our speed is almost stable, so time to detach. And there we go! Up to about 55 degree. And the good thing about this uh, plane design is you can detach it with the engine still running, because it just flies away without, uh, yeah, without uh, being a danger for your main rocket. And let's see where we are at the moment. Ah, Still way to go. So let's increase the angle to about 65 degrees. And time accelerate. See how it works. first fuel tank is almost empty. And yeah, 
Yeah, we're slowly getting there. Second fuel tank. What I want to do is, to, I want to try to get into a 100 kilometer orbit. As always. We won't have enough fuel to go any further, but... Oh, wait. Okay. That's good for now. Yeah, Poapsis is already at 93 kilometers. So, let's just drift there. See, oh, there's a bug. One fuel tank is not showing, but we have still one full fuel tank left after this one is empty. Okay, just time accelerate a little bit. And yeah, no, a little bit further. Yeah, that should be good. And now we need a speed of about, uh, orbital speed of about 2200 meters per second to get it stable. So just burn for the horizon. Yeah, it should leave us with half a tank or something like that left. To do a little bit of maneuvering or at least to deorbit this thing again when we're finished here. And again, as in my last videos, uh, it's uh, as in my last video at least, it's the first time I'm trying this. I only tried the the liftoff, but not uh, not an orbit. Yeah, let's get the apoapsis to 100. And yeah. Basically made it. We are in an orbit and we have still half a fuel tank left. So it seems to work. <laughs> yeah, you really have to deorbit all the other <laughs> uh, uh, spacecraft parked here. <laughs> or at least do something with them. <laughs> Wait, can we see? Oh yeah, <laughs> Prometheus MK MK3. <laughs> Mark 3 is just 18 kilometers away and there should be the Fichten Elch, <laughs> another space plane I tried earlier but it was yeah, <laughs> mostly mainly a rocket so this is my really first first real plane I used oh what was that That was not intended. And there we are at the apoapsis or apo key. Just want to stabilize the orbit little bit. One hundred. And yeah, that's oh, pretty good. Difference of two hundred and fifty meters. That's really good. Yeah, we made it. We are in space with half a fuel tank left. 
and that worked pretty well. So I could do some some little maneuvering here, but I really just wanted to show you my first attempt at aircraft uh, lifter designs. Uh, this is an all stock part design, by the way. So uh, yeah, all we do now is just give a full retro burn to the orbit. Let's try to hit somewhere here in the ocean. Uh, won't work. But okay. Detaching. And yeah. That was my f short journey into space. But hey. Would be much cooler to go to the moon with something like that, but yeah, that needs some practice with, uh, <laughs> with the aircraft design, etc. Hopefully, in the next version of Kerbal Space Program, they will fix the physics engine so you can build proper planes. Would be a nice and interesting feature, but with the system right now, it's just yeah, it's a pain to get them into air and get them stable. Uh, this plane you can you can fly it at lower altitudes be between yeah 1,000 and 10,000 meters even without the SAS. But yeah, it's easier for a stable stable flight just to use it. And yeah, we're inside the atmosphere again. slowly going down and all we have to do is to wait till we're near enough to the ground so we don't pull the parachute too early and yeah we made it to an ocean So anyways, I thank you for watching this short video today. Uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. And yeah, I will come back with more videos uh, during the next day, so <laughs> stay tuned. And thank you for watching. Bye bye. My name is Matthias Weiss and we see us on YouTube. Ciao.